Welcome again to Reviews from Purgatory with J. Matt Wygant. This time around, I am reviewing Friday the 13th. This film is a dreadful piece of detritus. And I want you to understand why it sucks, because I care. I don't think you should have to see movies like this, but they get made anyway. And some of them, like this one, get held up as classics. It's not. It's not at all. Okay, this is a terrible, terrible movie. It's unbelievably lame. It's not even one of those horror movies that's bad, but you can watch it for kicks because it's so terrible that you're amused by it. You know, you're like, wow, this is so bad, it's kind of funny. No, it's literally just bad. It's terrible. Um, part of the problem is it feels really dated. That's undoubtedly part of the problem. But even in 1980, I imagine it sucked as a horror movie. It's an imitator of Halloween, but Halloween is a hundred times better than this movie. A hundred times better. So the basic story here is that there's this summer camp that has been closed for decades. Because back in the day, a kid drowned there, and the year after two counselors were murdered and now it's being reopened after all this time new counselors are showing up to the summer camp and everyone's warning them that something bad will happen saying it's cursed and saying there's like a ghost or something and at the same time this ghost story is really kind of downplayed really pretty damn downplayed I stress that because the whole idea of this movie was that you know, maybe there is a ghost. Maybe there's a ghost taking revenge or trying to keep the place from opening again. But it's so minor that it you barely notice it. You just keep thinking, well, there's clearly some sort of killer. Because of all the point of view shots. This movie is completely full of point of view shots all the time. And there's always this lame, lame soundtrack that is terrible playing. You know, there's like a noise for the kill. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. So the point of view shots are overused, they're clearly not a ghost, so this whole idea that maybe it's a ghost is ridiculous. A, a ghost uses knives to stab people to death. A ghost is driving a jeep. There's an early scene where it's all point of view shot from a driver of a jeep, and you're like, yeah, okay, it's clearly a killer from day one. It's not a spoiler to think that, and you wonder how this was ever a twist ending, that the reveal would be supposedly profound. It never was. It's still a twist as to who the killer is, but it clearly wasn't a ghost. Yet a lot of people used to talk about this movie like that was the brilliant thing, that it spent the whole movie trying to tell us, well, maybe it's a ghost, maybe it's a ghost, and then it shows, no, nope, not a ghost. It never felt that way. Never. People who thought that, they're wrong. It doesn't feel like that. This is an imitator of Halloween. But it can't live up to that bar. Not at all. The problem becomes clear when you try to think of any character names from Friday the 13th. And you go, I can't remember any of them. Because none of the characters matter. They were all cardboard cutouts. Their only purpose was to be young teenagers killed at a camp. There is no depth to their character. Nothing. So you don't care about them at all. Halloween spent almost an hour, almost two-thirds of the movie, setting up Lori Stroud and her friends, Annie and Linda. And then there was Linda's boyfriend, Bob. And I can remember their names. 
I can't remember anyone's name from this movie because they didn't matter. None of the characters mattered. They're just hollow cutouts to be killed, and we just go along with the killer's point of view shots as they pick them off. They, they don't matter. And we don't care about them because of it, which makes us not that interested in the movie, and as an audience we're also not frightened because these aren't people, they're just things that get killed. Because there's nothing really human about these characters. They're just empty shells. So we don't care. Like a lot of the movies I've been reviewing recently, it has a big twist. But this one is completely ruined by it. Everyone knows the twist these days, and it sucks because of it. And it would have sucked anyway, because there's always a crappy film to begin with. The twist might have helped it out a lot in the past, but it's not enough to save it. It is full of terrible, terrible bad acting. Hey, hey, check it out. Look, it's Kevin Bacon in one of his worst roles. I bet Kevin Bacon wishes he had six degrees of separation from this movie. Huh? 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 It is an extremely exploitative movie. You've got, like, the kids wandering around the lake in skimpy clothes and gut. Them playing strip monopoly, tacked in sex scene, all the standard stuff you throw into a horror film to pull people in. And it's just, it adds to how terrible this movie is. Throw away cardboard cutout like characters, frolic, and then are killed. You feel nothing for them, you don't remember their names, and who cares? One last point to mention here. Um, so, in this movie, they have no idea that they're being hunted for a long time. Uh, they aren't even really aware that people are missing for quite some time. So, uh, does it make it more terrifying that they don't know that there's a killer after them, or less terrifying? I'd have to go with less. That's just my take on it, but maybe you folks have a different opinion, and you'll say that in the comments. It's uh, just one more kind of odd aspect here. So, blood and gore-wise, a uh, lot of off-screen killings. And um, killings that are on screen are pretty grisly, so <laughs> that kind of elevates it a little as a horror film. Fear-wise, though, it, it really falls down flat most of the time. There is, like, one really eerie one where a voice calls someone out and they um, head out into the night. And that one was pretty good. There's a few moments where you get some some fear. As a movie, I'll give it a two. The only thing that brings it up is the villain reveal, which was pretty good. That end of the movie was okay. That's about it. Question for this time is, what is the worst horror movie you have ever seen? Tell me in your comments. This movie is certainly on my short list of worst horror movies I have ever seen, and um, I'm just glad I don't have to think about it anymore. Until next time, this has been Reviews from Purgatory.